All right. I think this thing is on, man. I think this is on. Our bot X1, hola. What's up, man? <laughs> Let's see. I think we're uh, I think we're good. I think we're live everywhere. Should be live on YouTube and Twitch and Kick as well. Although I don't have the Kick chat pulled up. So if you're on Kick, RIP. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and uh, customize this character. So we're going to be doing a Mage Human. Mage Human. Getting the itch. Getting the itch to play a little bit of WoW. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Um, hmm. Ooh, should we do that? Is that good? No. I think I'm going to do... I think we're going to do no facial hair. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's the play. I think that's it, boys. Let's give this dude a name. Sick. Okay. Um. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and just get this started. There he is. That's my boy. Of course, Northshire Valley. That's the dude right there. So we're on Sargeras. We're on Sargeras Realm here. And I picked a mage. So let's do it. Wow, I'm so cute. <laughs> Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin. The proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. We have to uphold the honor of humanity, apparently. But, uh... <clears throat> I don't know about all that, Chief. I don't know about all that. He looks like an NPC. True. I mean, I kind of do too, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of works out. Kind of works out. Um, all right. First, let's do a couple of things here. We're going to turn on auto loot. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm definitely a noob to this game. So for those that know what they're doing... This playthrough might be a little bit cringe, but get used to it. All right. I think that should be okay for now. I do want to mess with the hotkeys because I don't really know what I'm doing with that. But, oh, actually, should we do... Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that should be okay. 
So you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshall McGride. Uh, I'm live on a different channel. I'm live on a different channel. Uh, I don't even know if I have the link to the channel. But yeah, I'm not um, I'm not live on my main YouTube channel because that's mainly for just Rise of Kingdoms. Um, so you're the, you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshall McGride, commander of this garrison. Glad to have you on board. It's Omniarch, right? You've arrived just in time. The Black Rock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing the best they can to push them back, but I fear they'll be overwhelmed soon. Head northwest of the forest, into the forest, and kill the attacking Black Rock Wargs. Help my soldiers. Gotta kill six of these dudes. Um, Alright, so... That's easy peasy. Um, we've got nothing in our bag. Sick. <clears throat> so that's these things right here. So we're just going to cross the bolt. Boom. It's lit. Easiest kill of my life. Um, all right, let's kill this one. How's the audio for you guys? Can you hear the game at all? Is it too loud, too quiet? Let me know. Got a black rock spy right here. So we're two shot in these because we're just freaking Giga Chad, bro. We're just Giga Chad. I'm going to turn my headphones up slightly. All right. Um, we need two moss, two moss, boom, and bo they walk so slow once you hit them with this. What is this? Launches a bolt of frost at the enemy, causing 16 frost damage and slowing them by 50%. 50% movement speed debuff here. Sick. We love that. All right, so that's done. <clears throat> That's done. And all right, let's keep it going here. Ready for turn in. I wish I could go to Elwyn Forest in real life. I wish I could just spend like an afternoon or a morning Summer morning in North Shire Valley would be amazing. <clears throat> Incredible. Hmm. You've brought us a little you've bought us a little time on the arc, but we've got even bigger problems to deal with now. Northshire Abbot's cinch. Sick. The invading orcs aren't fools, they're sizing us up, making sure that when they attack it will be to their advantage. In the forest to the northwest are Blackrock spies. They peered at us through spy glasses, watching our every move waiting. I want you to take the fight to them, kill the Black Rock spies. We must show them that we know they are watching us and that we are prepared. Did I get anything for that first? Uh... Oh, I've got gloves. Well, let's look here. <clears throat> you were first for the first time ever. Let's go. All right. So can we use this? No, that's mail. Okay. Uh, let's add that. Can does that even? Oh yeah, okay. Sick. All right. So that does look like something. And then we're going to go ahead and just uh we'll just what is a cell junk. Yes, and this is junk as well. And that's that. So, oh, let's also uh, I'm going to turn up the audio for dialogue a little bit. Right? Let's do 90. 
Okay. Okay, so let's kill, uh, we gotta kill eight of the spies here. So we already saw them from before. And this is Fire Blast, 18 fire damage, and that's an instant cast, whereas this is two seconds. So we'll we'll do this first, and then we'll hit them with the instant, and then there we go. Ooh, 12 second cooldown. Oof. 12 seconds, boys. That's a lot. Out of range. Am I a range DPS or not? I kind of want him to come to me, though, because... And then I don't have to walk so far to loot him. <laughs> Boom. Two shot. GG. Boom. And boom. 34 damage. I have an add-on for this, actually. Uh, well, I'm not going to deal with that now. We got we got stuff to do. We got work to do. How are you, Arbot? How's life? Let's collect that, and we'll start hitting this dude. Up. All right. One more Black Rock Spy. I'm doing good, man. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to play a little bit of WoW and chill today. So that's what we're doing. We're vibing. We are vibing. I find that the human starting zone is just like so relaxing. So I also think the the orc starting zone is pretty nice too. Excellent work. You've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train. Level 3, baby. I received an urgent message from Sergeant William. Turns out that the Blackrock Orcs have hired goblin assassins. They ambushed our battalion behind the abbey. Willem? Is it Willem? Willem has asked me to send him a hero. You have to go help them. On the Ark? You've got it, Chief. Um... Are there any quests in here? No? Okay. Oh, uh, do I learn any profession stuff in here or nah? There's the warrior trainer, but he doesn't do anything in retail, does he? Yeah. Um, okay. I think we should be good. It's kind of sad that North, North Shire Abbey, like this main hall, is so beautiful. And yet there's kind of no reason to even come in here in retail, you know? At least that's kind of the impression that I've gotten. Like, why would I go in there? Sergeant Willem. What up? It's true. We were ambushed. I don't dare send any more soldiers out there and risk losing them, too. I need a volunteer, someone willing to risk their life. He's basically saying, uh, yeah, we care about our soldiers more than we care about you. Have you ever seen a goblin on the orc? They're wretched little monsters that love only two things, gold and themselves. The Blackrock orcs have enlisted the aid of goblin assassins to kill our soldiers. If you look to the field of the north, you can barely make out their silhouettes sneaking about in the grass. I need you to head out there and kill every goblin you see. They need to learn that nobody messes with the alliance. And then this dude, Brother Paxton. They make the spot you won't go to look better than the rest. Literally. That is actually true. Um, Arbot, can you hear the game? Is it is it too quiet or too loud? I'd love to know. Have you embraced the holy light yet, brother? It is through the holy light that we are saved. It's through the holy light that I am able to heal these overly demanding soldiers. And it's through the holy light that you will be able to venture out into the field to the north and rescue our fallen brothers. Take this prayer book. You can't really hear it. Okay. Take this prayer book with you into the field and cast the light's healing touch on the injured. Safe travels. Safe travels. Okay. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Um, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear it now. That's a lot of goblin assassins, man. 
Um, what's this do? Frost Nova blasts enemies within a... Um, this dude has a... What's it called? That dude has heirlooms. So we're not going to be able to keep up with his DPS. Can't hear it at all. Is there anything even playing at the moment? Okay, good. So um, I've raised it a little bit. You can let me know if you can hear anything now. Oh, they don't die in two shots. Blast enemies within 12 yards for one frost damage. Wow. One whole frost damage. That's crazy. Better thanks. There we go. All right. Boom. Heal you. Pop you. The cooldown on Frost Nova is really long. All right. So. We need three more goblin assassins dead. And let's do that. Boom. We are farming this copper, boys. We are farming the copper. Farming it. All right. Uh, oh, is that not a goblin? <clears throat> oh, it was. All right. Well, whatever. Damn. One damage, huh? My boy really can't, my boy really can't deal any damage. With Frost Nova. Okay. Let's turn this in here. I think you now understand the power of the light. Am I being hit right now? Are you serious? Stupid. Um, the light giveth hope, brother, and the light taketh from the darkness. Blessed be the light. Thank you. Level four. Good day to you. That will teach those monsters to think twice before taking another mercenary job for orcs. Excellent work. The rear is now officially clear. We'll take care of the stragglers. I want you to go back to Marshall McBride. Stand in front of North. Uh, standing in front of Northshire Abbey. Uh, south of here. Okay, that's who we just talked to. We already we already know where that dude is at. Um, what up, Marshall? With your help, we've managed to secure the northern and western sectors of Northshire. We still have a rather large contingency of Black Rock Orcs to the east, and they've begun burning down the forest. The Orcs have begun burning down the forest. They've taken over the vineyard to the east and are planning their final assault against us. They must be stopped head east across the river and kill the rampaging Black Rock Orcs. Collect their weapons as proof of their demise and return to me. Gang. Oh, also, Millie. A milli, a milli, a mi a milli. Times like these make me long for when the Defias were still around. The Cataclysm has opened a pathway from the burning steps and now Black Rock Orcs pour into Northshire Valley. They've taken over my vineyard to the gr uh, and are burning it to the ground. To the ground! Please, that vineyard is all I have. Take this fire extinguisher. All right. So let's go over to the vineyard. We will, um, we will extinguish some fire and beat some Black Rock Orcs. There's no other quest here, right? Doesn't look like it. I mean, as much as this fire extinguisher might put out some fires, it looks like it's kind of already burned to the ground, if I'm being honest with you. We've discovered the vineyard. And we officially have Blink. We officially have Blink. Um, so let's kill this dude. Boom. And boop. Okay. Um, 
Is this gonna work? All right. Oh, this music is so good. Black Rock Take Forest. Not today, Chief. Not today. Kill this invader. These guys look crazy, bro. They look cool as hell. <clears throat> Some invader you are just standing in your own fire. Like an idiot. Let's put out these fires. All right. We've done that. Um, okay, let's kill this dude here. I actually took damage that time. This guy won't uh, deal any damage though. Nothing. Just kidding. He dealt some damage. I let him though, because I walked up to him, you know? Let's put out that fire. Let's put out this fire. And we'll put out this fire. And then we just need to kill one more, or get the weapon of one more Blackrock invader. So get over here. Get over here, come on. I won't bite. There we go, all right, easy. We saved the vineyard, guys. Look. <laughs> Doesn't it look saved? <clears throat> Can't you tell? How long of a stream? Um, just until I get bored. So that means it could be an hour and a half. It could be three and a half. Just depends. All right, Millie. Good news, bad news. Good news, I... Put out the fires. Bad news. It was a little late. Bless your heart. You truly are a hero of the Alliance. Um, though the land is completely incinerated and there's nothing left of the vineyard but ash and debris, I still won't be able to recover, right? How bad can it be? Yeah. How bad could it be? You're going to make some snacks? Get some snacks. Snacks are important. Especially cosmic brownies. Blackrock works will surely fall now that their main force has been defeated. Only one task remains. The Rampage and Orc Horde is led by a savage beast known as Kurtok the Slayer. Kurtok is responsible for the recent invasion and must be killed if we have to have peace in the valley. Venture back east across the river and through the vineyard and look for the passage leading into the mountains. Kurtok will be there. Prepare for another assault. Kill him and return. Preparing for another assault. Kill him and return to me. Be careful. I will. Uh, is, there a, is that a rare spawn? Gug Fat Candle? Let's go over there and check real quick before we do this quest. Because I'm pretty sure rare spawns give a lot of experience. Like, possibly as much as a quest. And if that's the case, then it's definitely worth it to kill them. Um, <clears throat> Echo Ridge. But we can't go into Echo Ridge. And I don't see. I don't see Gug Fat Candle. So. I'm going to forget about it, I guess. <clears throat> right? Unless he's like up in these trees up here. Which I doubt. So, okay. Well, we checked. We tried. How does the camera look if I turn that off? Ooh, that's pretty dark. I don't know about that. Right. 
right. Let's make our way through the forest here. We're gonna we're gonna cross the river by just running through it. We're not even gonna use the bridge down there because it'll make it a lot faster to go over to Kurtok the Slayer. Um, let's attack from over here, I guess. Let's kill this dude. We have Conjure Refreshment. That doesn't that does not need to be on a on a hotkey. Um Okay, is that Kurtok? No. But we're close. Is this going to pull Kurtok? No, it will not. Okay, that's that. And we should be good now. Does he have more health? He does. But it doesn't matter because the movement speed means he kill he dies before he even gets here. We've got 12 copper. They don't even require that I bring a, a proof that he's dead. That's crazy. Normally in these types of quests, you have to like cut their head off to prove that you've actually killed the enemy. But not now. Not this time. Oh, we can kill this dude. A little bit of e extra experience as we walk back. He's dead. Sick. Alright. Yeah, it's a piece of skin or like you bring back their ring or something like that. Not this time. Kurtok is just dead and they're gonna take my word for it. I'm gonna take off this cardigan. Okay, now we mean business, boys. Now we mean freaking business. Arbot, did you get snacks? What kind of snacks? With, with Kurtok slain, we're safe once again from the orcish hordes. I will send peasants to the pass in an attempt to seal that passage so that no more orcs may come through into our territory. Um, all right. Oh, chips, dude, I was eating, I have them right over there, flaming Hot Cheetos before. So addicting. Omniarch, you're a mage with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elven Forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road past the border gates. Take Marshal McBride's documents to Marshal Dugan. Okay. Thank you, Marshal McBride. Um, all right, let's just come in here real quick. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at our character for a second. Um, <clears throat> this will give us the same amount of armor, but, oh, that looks a little bit cooler. It looks like all this stuff is the same All this stuff is the same quality. Wine stained cloak, what a classic. But the Peace Bringer staff is even better. It's lit. All right, we are living large now. We have 28 intellect. This is how strong the spells are. Stamina is health and armor is damage reduction. Sup nerd May, what's up May? I'm doing a sneaky little stream. Nice haircut, thank you. I uh, I go to a barber, and well sometimes I get the barber, and sometimes I get his wife. And uh, I'm gonna let you guess which one is better at cutting hair, but um, little plot twist. I I got his wife. She's actually she actually did a decent job this time. Not great, but decent. I'll take it. All right. Um, I think we're good here. Looks nice. Thank you. Yeah. Usually she cuts it too short, but this time it was good. How have you been, May? I'm doing a, I'm doing a sneaky non Rise of Kingdom stream, so I didn't want to go on the main channel. 
Um, okay. So, yeah, we're done with Northshire. Time to go to Goldshire. Time to go to Goldshire. I'd give a... I'd give 10 grand to, uh... To just live in Northshire or Elman Forest. Um... Working a lot so I can be available for KBK. Let's go. Yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? That's coming up quick. I feel like we just had one. But that was in, what? December. Yeah. Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in, and there's no finer place to get a rest and relax session than the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you the special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road from here. You can't miss it. Brother, I can see it from here. I can see it from here. What are you, what are you doing? It's a furry, everybody. Isn't that crazy? World of Warcraft is for furries now. <clears throat> I've been doing all right. I've been, I've been chilling. Uh, mainly just making making YouTube content. I posted a I posted a second channel video today. Um, it was my nephew's birthday this past weekend, like literally yesterday. So I went upstate, visited some family. That's pretty much it. It's lit. How old? Uh, well, there's two of them, and their birthdays are like a week apart or a week and a half apart. So I think one of them is 12 and one of them is eight. Your nephews is this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, this one of them was last week and the other one is this week. So they kind of had the birthday party like right in between the two. And then they, we just did like one, one little get together, which was nice. I love listening to the footsteps in this game. Oh my god. I don't know why. I'm a fucking weirdo. I'm a freak. I'm a freak, but I love the uh footstep volume in like every video game. I don't know why. <clears throat> Austrian Junker, what up man? Welcome to the stream. Uh let's grab this flight path. While we're here, Griffin Master, hello. Looks like Dr. Disrespect. Marshall, what's up, my brother? What can I do for you? What up? What up, pimp? Go with honor, friend. You have word from McBride. Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest, but I wonder what Marshall McBride has to report. Have I tried the new shooter Ryan and Arcade been playing? Um, is that Helldiver or whatever? I haven't, but I've had a lot of people tell me that it's good. Well, it says here that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations and good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics these days. You're telling me, man. It's an election year. All right. Um, the mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire between the Stonefield and Macalur homesteads. Explore the Fargo Deep Mine, then return to... Okay. <clears throat> Westfall has fallen to hard times, friend. With the threat of the Defias extinguished, the region has become a haven for the homeless and downtrodden. The crime rate of the area has skyrocketed as people fight for shelter and food. Now I hear tale of murder. If you're interested in helping the people of the Alliance, Westfall would be a great place to start. Report to Lieutenant Horatio Lane at the Jansen Stead. Okay, so we're gonna go to Westfall later, but we'll collect the quest now. <clears throat> what up, Remy? See you later. Omniarch, there's a new threat in Elmwind Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of Eastern Elmwind, scaring away fish and attacking gentle folk. I warmed Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Omniarch, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Kobolds in these parts sometimes carried gold dust on them. I could really use this stuff. Bring me a load of it and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south and around the Jasper Load Mine to the east. Northeast. 
Bring 10 Let's gold dust. So. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's convince him that we need to go explore. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of Murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report from a Murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you're concerned about the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He's been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to make this in our home. Let's do that. Hello, Farley. <clears throat> rest and relax rest and relaxation for the tired and cold that's our motto please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones would you like to try a sampling of some of our fine food and drink See you later. Hello. <clears throat> oh thank you um <clears throat> <clears throat> is this better than what I have? Are they just giving me a bunch of gear that's all the same armor level? <clears throat> you can't even see the trousers, brother. Um, Lion's Pride Bracer. Okay. I guess I'll sell this stuff back to you. Get rid of that. And um while we're here. <clears throat> oh, the beer is too expensive. I'm I'm broke. We've got the cooking trainer. So let's learn cooking. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. Acquires level 30. Dark Brew Lager. Okay, let's do that. And then... Um, let's see. <clears throat> Alright. I've got, like, warrior heirlooms and stuff. I guess I do have some heirlooms for mage, but um, I don't think we need them right now. Let's see. Invisibility. Ooh. I think... I think we're going to do turn you invisible. I don't think that's like super needed, but we'll put it here just in case. And <clears throat> Let's do cooking fire and cooking. I'll put that there. Okay, and then let's put this here. Aiden, hello! Welcome to the stream, brother. Um, okay, that should be good. How are you, Aiden? It's been a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a quest in here. Yes, this guy. I'm sorry, I'm a bit busy right now making horseshoes for Werner, Osgood, and Lakeshire. There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland. Okay. And... 
although we don't get much aid from Stormin directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Osric Strang. His shop limited immunity is in the old town of Stormin. Our supply of armor dwindles. Okay, so I will do that eventually. Um, but not right now. Um, yeah, we don't need to track those right now. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit too much here. And okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> been really lazy and unmotivated. I need to get a job, license, and work on moving, but I have no motivation. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times when I'm overwhelmed with stuff, I just lay down. <laughs> it's not good, but I do it. How are you? I can teach you the basics of any gathering or production profession, but that's all. To learn more than an apprentice skills, you'll need to visit a specialist dedicated to only one profession. You can learn up to two professions, two gathering, two production, or one of each. Secondary skills like archaeology, cooking, and fishing don't count towards your two professions. You can learn as many of those as you'd like. I'm going to do um, herbalism. Herbalism allows you to locate and gather herbs in the world. These can be filled with the auction house you use for supporting the alchemy or inscription professions. Skilled herbalists can also use the knowledge of the earth to heal themselves. Um, let's see. Do I care about skinning? I don't think I do. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do herbalism. And <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do enchanting. Allows you to enchant items with a wide variety of beneficial effects as well as disenchant items and create magical wands and oils. Highly skilled enchanters can even enchant their own rings, which no one else may do. Most raw materials for enchanting must be gathered via disenchanting, a process which destroys the disenchanted item. For this reason, the profession pairs with tailoring, as you can disenchant the magical tailoring items you create for raw materials. Enchanters may also place enchantments. Okay. Um. Let's do it. Okay. Um There's nothing in the journal. Let's put that here. Let's put that here. Okay. And if we want to cook something, toughened flesh, <laughs> dark brew lager. Didn't I learn? I'm pretty sure I learned something else, didn't I? Hmm. Fire's cooking fire. Let's 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 put one of them down. sworn that I just learned brilliant small fish ooh can I afford that I think I can let's do that mm. let's 
Herbalist's spade. We'll buy that. Do you? I wonder if you get. Light bless you. I wonder if you get. Um, hmm. Could have sworn that I learned like a spice toast or something like that. Spiced bread. Let's double check with this guy. Let's see. Cooking trainer. What can I do for you? Spiced. Hmm. So, what can I? Hmm. Good day to you. See you later. Does that hurt me? Huh, it doesn't. It's funny. Where do I get toughened flesh? Spice bread. That's what it was. See, I knew I... I knew it. Okay. Um, let's create five of these. Gotta kill a toughened monster, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I'm cooking level six. Um Greetings. Hmm. Be careful. Light be with you. Let's do that. And we will now pop off. We're cooking fifteen. Am I going to get to cooking 20? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe. 19. Let's go. Okay. What are you looking for? So we're cooking 20. And oh wait. This. Let's learn this. Brilliant small fish. Right? Amazing. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for cooking for now. Let's go just double check. I want to see if I can learn. And now that I'm level 20 cooking, I wanted to see if I can learn anything else from Thomas over here. Um, Thomas, see, I knew it. Big brain. Sm uh, spiced wolf meat. And Calderai Spider Kebab. See you around. So there we go. Uh, what does the butcher do? Can I buy something from him? Only the finest huh. Go with honor, friend. What's going on down here? Warlock, demon. Yeah. Bunch of sketch balls down here, huh? We got... There's a demon in the basement, you guys. Does anyone know that? Is this anyone curious about the demon in the basement? William Pestle. Hello, good sir. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormin, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn Mines, the Fargoday Mine of the South, and the Jasper Lode Mine of the East. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Bring eight large candles. Alright, I can do that. An everyday sight. Yeah, exactly. It's just a casual demon in the basement. You know, it is what it is. Um... Okay, so we've got lots of quests over here. So we're going to go south. And we're going to make our way downtown. 
Walking fast, bases fast, more homebound. So there, there's an herb over here, I think. Peace bloom. What, um... Hmm, I don't think I need this on my bar. I don't think that does anything there. Pretty sure I can just right click on said herb. Oh, wish I could crack my neck, that'd be great. Oof. Um, let's actually do that. I think that's a little better. Oh, running into the tree. We discovered the mine, ladies and gentlemen. Fargo Deep. Hmm. Gold Tooth's Den. Pretty sure that's underground. Oh. Don't kill him. Did I get two? Let's go. Gang. All right. We're really popping off now, boys. Oh, that didn't give me anything. I gotta remember to use flash so I can get around faster. I hear some violence down here. Is that outside? Oh, hello. Oh man, that has no cooldown. Ooh, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. How come these aren't giving me anything? Cobalt Miner. He does have a chance to drop something. Let's see. I feel like the movement speed debuff is just so OP in the early game. I'm like, I'm just killing, it's just single target. I'm single target DPSing. Oh, another furry. Um, I'm single target DPSing. Then they can just never hit me because I kill them before they get to me. It's lit. Um, can I join a guild? Let's see. Um, oh, do I, do I need to have an active subscription or something? Like search for a guild, or do I have to be like a higher level? Maybe. I don't know. Where the heck is Gold Tooth? Or do I not even have to do that part right now? Okay. What? Cobalt Miner. progress. We're doing what we need to do, boys.
Ooh, did we crit there? We, we must have. We need a little bit more gold dust. Yeah, 24. 24. One more gold dust. I feel like this mine would be really hot. Like imagine being here in the summer. Uh, maybe, maybe it wouldn't be that hot. Ooh, Malachite. Why did I do that? All right. Let's just hearth back. William. How are you? I've got your candles. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? And thanks for the candles, Omniarch. Here's your reward. You seem like a helpful type, Omniarch. How about doing an old man a favor? Last time I was over at the Mackler Vineyards, I overheard Mabel crying in her cottage. Would you be so kind as to check up on her? I'm a little worried. See you later. See you later. Marshall, what up, playa? This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your effort, Tommy. I can hold on a moment. I might have another task for you. Alliance. Thanks to you, we know the Fargate mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasperlode mine. Explore Jasperlode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. All right. Hey there. Have a good Thanks for the dust, Tommy. Here's your cash. And here's a token from Associates of Mine. You might find it useful, useful. We leveled up. Level 7, boys. Okay. And let's see. Let's... Uh, actually, was that all the quests? Was that all the quests? I think it was all the quests. Okay. Um... I don't think do we do well let's just get rid of this one let's just talk to Bartlett good day to you see you later see you around for a small fee you can take a griffin to Stormont so you can deliver Argus's note to Osric you won't get there faster any other way if that sounds acceptable then just speak to me again Travel. all right mm hmm I'm trying to remember if there's any other quests that are going to send me to Jasper Load. But while I'm here, let me just sell some stuff. First of all, we don't need that. Um, this is an upgrade. So let's... Ooh, let's go. This is a side grade, but it matches better. <laughs> Let's sell this dude this stuff here. And I can probably just sell the peace bloom, right? I mean, what's what what are the odds that I'm gonna get a good price for that stuff on the auction house? Maybe I would, but I'm too lazy. Are back wars happening in my kingdom? Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Let's go to Jasper Load. Traveling Baker. Does she have any recipes, actually? Good day to you. No. Safe travels.
This is Lame Paw. Let's see if Lame Paw's is here. Oh, Mangy Wolf. What's this do? Counters the enemy spell cast. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put that here. I don't think. Well, maybe we'll use it. I'm gonna go invisible. Let's see here. Is Lame Paw the Whimperer? <clears throat> oh no. Oh, damn it. just showed up okay where bruh oh lame paw hello it's time to die lame paw 600 experience and a small green pouch that's huge <gasps> let's go oh my god that was actually huge we got a six slot bag for that there's herbs over there but i don't need it all right that detour was actually worth it that was big really Okay, let's go this way. I'm gonna go to Jasper Load. Jasper Load. My kingdom is fighting itself right before KBK. Oh, that's never a good sign. That's never good. Surely that won't affect the outcome, right? Don't come at me, mangy wolf. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can grab this herb without pulling any of these freaking wolves. Ooh, another player. Oops. Just wasting my mana over here. Let's kill this guy so we can grab that herb. We got a silver leaf. <clears throat> All right. Have I explored enough yet? I have. Amazing. Ah, shoot. I don't even get a... Didn't even get a freaking experience for that. Right? Um... What is this? Mother Fang. Eh, we're probably fine. We might actually come back here. We might come back.
Where's the herb? Is it that? <clears throat> That's crazy. It's all the way up here. Earth root. What? All right, and I can't hearth back, can I? Nope. Shoot. <clears throat> okay, well. Level 12 Void Elf. Um, I think we'll go here. We'll talk to Guard Thomas. And... I think there is a flight path over there. Or uh yeah, over here. You spell logging logging camp. So we'll get we'll pick up that flight path. Because uh without being in a guild, then my cooldown is quite long for this earthy boy. Also, KVK1, not good. Yeah, I think most Civil Wars happen before KVK1, if I'm not mistaken. It just, that seems like when players are the least cohesive and leadership is least set in stone. So it happens. It happens in probably most kingdoms, actually. Look how long that staff is. I wonder if size matters when it comes to staff effectiveness. Like, the bigger the staff, the more powerful it is. What up, Guard Thomas? Guard Thomas looks... Guard Thomas looks worse than the regular guards. Look at that. Look at his armor compared to this armor. The regular Stormwind Guards look better than Guard Thomas. <laughs> looks hot. Yeah, he's like sweaty. Hello, citizen. You look like a man with a purpose. Do you have any business with Stormwind Army? Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they're here, but they're aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. Be careful. See, I got 130 experience for that, and I got 600 experience from killing that rare spawn. So rare spawns are definitely worth it. Few days ago we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to invest along the river and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards or their remains. Hail New York. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive and far and farther we get sorry. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshire and the East Vale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. If only I could read. <laughs> Alright, let's go... Um, actually, let's collect this as well. Bounty on Murlocs. Storm and army has placed a bounty on Murloc lurkers and foragers in Elwyn. Slaughter them and bring Guard Thomas, their torn Murloc fins, and the Storm and army will reward you. Wanted James Clark. By decree of the Storm and Army, a bounty has been placed on the head of James Clark. Clark is wanted for robbery, burglary, arson, and murder. Sounds like a good guy. He's also a suspect in the kidnapping and disappearance of the Brackwell's prized pig princess. Last seen heading to Eastvale Logging Camp. Oof, we got a lot of quests now. Okay. So, first things first, let's go to the flight path over here at Eastvale Logging Camp. And it looks like we're going to pass right through. Actually, am I going to be able to kill James Clark at my current level? That's the question. That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for you. James Clark is level 7. I think I can kill him. Oh yeah, for sure. Got 
got him. This note is the schedule for the list of days and times when a person described only as the collector will receive a shipment of gold from the mines in Elwyn Forest. From the schedule, it looks as if the collector resides near the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch in Eastern Elwyn. This sounds important. You should report it to Marshall Patterson at Eastvale Logging Camp. <laughs> I just want to sit and watch the stream. I have to do R4 stuff. Oof. It happens, man. It happens. Um, okay, let's grab this flight path. Man, I wish I could just hang out at Eastville Logging Camp in real life. That would be amazing. Okay. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. Turning in a bounty? Yes, sir. Justice is served. Be careful. What? We haven't had our people working the Elwyn mines for months. Let me see the note you have. Hmm, I've heard of this collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedule. It will help us solve this mystery. The collector is taking gold from the, if the collector is taking gold from our mines, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the collector bring the collector to justice and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the collector is working for. The pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out at the Brackwill pumpkin patch. You should Search for him there. Go with honor, okay. Um. What is this? Riding trainer. I don't think. Oh, I'm definitely not at a high enough level for riding. Okay. Um. The collector's ring. We're not gonna do that one yet. Hmm. What should we do? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Let's go turn in the Jasper load mine quest. Let's do that. Let's fly across good old Elwyn. And while this while this happens, let me try this. I know that's pretty dark, but oh no. All right, well, I tried. I kind of just, it's just so bright. Flying through the trees on a griffin like a boss. Goldshire. All right, we're here, and let's turn this in. Need help? Kobolds at the Jasper Lone Mine, you say curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, Omniarch, but I wish that the news you brought was good news. The garrison on our western border sends words of increasing null and thief activity. They're requesting we send more storm and soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it will be to the right. That's Westbrook Garrison. We're going to do that later, because we... Um... Don't need to do it right now because we're gonna go to Westfall later. And what else? Mm. Um, let's fly to Elwyn, and I'm gonna grab a drink. You need something? Safe travel. Have a good. I will grab a drink. I'll be right back. That was pretty good timing. this on here. 
Chat is, this trade chat is insane. It is flying. People looking for level boosts. All right, cheers. Passion fruit sparkling water. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we got Passion Fruit LaCroix. Woo. I used to not... I used to... Warcraft Rumble Foil showed up. I used to... Um, drink a lot of different flavors of LaCroix, but I had never had Passion Fruit. And then one day I bought it. And God, it's one of the best flavors, man. It's so good. All right, we discovered the canals. What's this? Infuse the target with brilliance, increasing their intellect by 5%. Okay, we don't need that here for sure. I will put that here actually. Didn't you say that in a video, I think? Yeah, I probably did. Ooh. Oh, good. Um, I guess that's in here. Is this it? Yes. Hello, Osric Strang. You've been traveling, eh? Have you been anywhere interesting? You bet. Ah, uh, a note from the Smith Argus. I'm not surprised he needs more gear. There's so many new recruits these days. Well, thank you, Omniarch. Here's some money to cover your travel costs. Omniarch, I gathered in. Into this crate, everything Argus asked for. Can you take it to him? If you've already spoken to Bartlett at Goldshire, then you can take a griffin back to him. Dungar Long Drink is our griffin master over the trade district. Speak with Gung Dungar, then get this crate to Argus as fast as you can. You got it. Um, okay, actually I can sell my garbage to you, right? I'm gonna just sell this stuff. I don't really need it. See you later. I supply only the finest. I'll just take the raw raw gold from that. <clears throat> um what's this? Elmore's task? I guess we can do that while we're here. All right. <clears throat> Can I go this way? I hope so. I gotta learn fishing too. I'm starting to feel like maybe I can't go this way, boys. Shoot. We'll take in a detour. All right. That's a 14 second cooldown. 15, what? Yay. Mm. I'm guessing it's in here. Surely it's in here. Surely. Hello. No. Pick your feet on the, the Stormpikes are a respected dwarven clan and are well known for their fine and discerning tastes, so it's no wonder that Gringer, Gringer Stormpike, a mountaineer of Ironforge, commissioned me to craft him a weapon. The weapon is finished, but Mountaineer Stormpike is far away on distant Loch Wadon. If you plan on traveling to the north, you can deliver a package to him. Yes. Good. We'll do that later, though. That's not, that's not for today. Or at least not for right now. Um, let's see. 
Um, yeah, this can be untracked. Definitely. All right. So I guess we're going to go back to Elwyn. Seems like the play. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to do while I'm in Stormwind here. I don't think so. Have I been R4 or R5? Um... I was R4, like, not even kidding, like, years ago. Like, in my original kingdom, I was an R4 for, like, maybe a month or two. I don't like being R4. It's a lot of work. Uh, a lot of time commitment, too. <clears throat> oh, I, I can't go this way, can I? Oh! Uh Rumble foil just showed up. Mm -hmm. This music is so iconic. Griffin Roost. When do I get talent points? Alright. Let's go back to Goldshire. Back to Goldshire. Is that in here? Is this dude? Yeah. You need something? Be careful. Have a good one. Great, you brought the armor. We'll get this div divvied to those who need it immediately. Thank you, Omnir. Your efforts have been a great help to us, and now you you're no stranger to Griffins. Stranger to Griffins. I hope you'll come and lend aid to Goldshire often. Alright. Um okay, I'm pretty sure we're done with the Goldshire now. So Let's go I think we should go the vineyard. Let's let's do that. All right. Yeah, might as well. Nah, bro. I'm not dealing with that. Not dealing with it. Kill this bear. <clears throat> I 
Damn, he's tanky. Good thing I'm a ranged DPS. Give me your fur. Maclure Vineyard. Can I help you? Gerard Tiller. Farming is thirsty work and I'm always looking for refreshing spring water. If you have any, then I'm willing to make a trade. Have a good one. Thanks, and come back if you want to trade again. So this guy just is an infinite apple generator if you have water. That wasn't even a good trade. Um, okay. What the heck is this? What is, what are they wearing? Hey there. <laughs> William sent you bless the soul. I'm okay. It's just, well, oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He usually, he's usually at the river to the west of the Stormfield farm, which is due west of here. Okay. Let's do that. And we're going to pick up a quest on the way. The TwitchCon hype emote is so good. Does this young forest bear count towards that quest? It looks like it does, but we're not in the quest area. Huh. Hmm, it does count. Cool. <clears throat> okay. There's another forest bear. Let's go. We're up to 55 stamina and 34 intellect. We're smart. Smart AF. <clears throat> Stonefield Farm. What up, Ma Stonefield? Hello. The Brackwells have a prize winning pig princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. It just so happens that she's here now. Princess must die. Bring him her, her bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. You'll find Princess Smack Dab in the middle of our watermelon patch. Get her. Auntie. I lost my necklace and I think that gutter snip. Does stamina give you health? Yeah. Gutter snipe. Billy McAlore took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McLure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back. Okay, Princess is dead, so we'll have to Oh, no, she's not. Nobody else better steal this. Dang, princess. You thick. Alright, we got the collar. Let's go over here. Complete the original quest. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like... It looks like... Um, yeah, so your stamina times four is how much health you get. Good day to you. Of what, Mabel, is the light of my dull life? Hurry, let me see her letter. See you oh, I can't stay, stand us being apart. I have to see her. Oh, please, Omni, or talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me in together with Mabel, she can. She's inside our house east of here. Okay. How much experience is Princess? Is she worth farming? Let's see. Wait, how much did I get? I wasn't paying attention. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Whatever. 
Uh, all right. Well met. Be careful. Thank goodness that pig was getting so big she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, Omniarch. Do any of these suit you? Yes, sir. Well met. While our families are feuding, Tommy, Joe, and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? Light I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. Alright. Back to Goldshire. Um. Yeah, back to Goldshire. Back to Goldshire. I hope I can climb this embankment. Surely I can. Yes. Ah, oh, I can't jump that. Where? Oh, gold shire, or the inn, right? Yeah. Let's go here. William Pestle. Hello. Have yeah, a good one. Hey there. How are <sighs> Gotta you? wait for this guy. You need something? <clears throat> What can I do for you? You have a note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. My heart goes out to those two poor souls. Maybe May Maybell and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the Mackler Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make a liquor, the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes Murlocs collect it. See if the Murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. So, I, oh man, I was hoping these quests would overlap, but I guess they might not. All right, I'm going to finish responding to this text. So let's just take a seat here in Lion's Pride Inn for a moment. And I'm going to finish texting. <laughs> mm, well, actually, you know what? I could probably, I could probably auto run to my... Next questicle. All right, surely. We are here. Oh, I don't want to fight that mangy wolf. Let's see.
Okay. Let's get some crystal kelp. The leader of the Alliance attacking us is crying and can check because we're fighting back. Oh my god. What did he expect? Slow fall. That's another one that we don't necessarily need right now. I'll put that over here. I probably should just use that, right? Like, what am I doing? Um, no. I just don't know how you're not going to give me a fin. Like, how are you not going to give me a fin, you know? Bruh. Okay. Got you. Wow, that really didn't give you anything. One more crystal kelp. I'm pretty sure crystal kelp is a isn't that a drink in SpongeBob? that up and let's open those boom okay now let's go back to gold shire in and we will then take a probably a flight path over to East Vale logging camp I move this around no, you can't move the window. Still need an add-on. Should I get the strongest player to attack us because he can't himself? Oh, that's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. Alright. Oh, you're gonna steal that, really? I'm back. What up, William? You got them. Good show. Now, just one moment while I cook the potion. This shouldn't take long. How are you? The invisibility liquor is ready for you, Omniarch. Good day to you. Take this invisibility liquor to Young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. See you around. All right. Oh, that's right. We can't go back to East Vale because we got to go back to the vineyard or the Makalu or whatever. Oops. <clears throat> Maybe we'll see some prowlers or forest wolves over here. Nope, just a bandit. Forest bear, though. That's part of my questicle. Looks like the force bear is scaling with my level. Okay. Hmm. 
So you can't gather a herb while invisible? That's annoying. Okay. That's, ooh, is that my last forest bear? My last forest bear, baby. Keep it going. <clears throat> All right. And Got the, got to talk to Billy, so we can get the lost necklace back. You lost a what? Well, I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief. I might know who did, but grin. I'm too hungry to remember. What a little shit. Maybe if I get a pie, I can tell you who had that necklace. And you know, I think that old Bernice lady at the other farm makes great pork belly pies. Maybe if you. Gave her some tender boar meat from the boars that hang around our farms and told her what it was for. She'd bake up a pie for you. All right, so let's kill some stone tusk boar. I could go for some pork belly right now, actually. That would be very nice. Um All right, Maybell. Hello. Here's your invisibility liquor. Oh my, I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, Amiark. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance to sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. Five healing potions. Let's go. All right. Let's get some more tender boar meat. All right. And one moss. All right, we've got the boar meat, baby. Now let's go get that pie. Let's get that pork belly pie, ladies and gentlemen. I see a lot of bears, but not a lot of the uh, prowlers or forest wolves. <clears throat> 160 experience for pulling up a flower. That's pretty good. Hello, Auntie Bernice. I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, then so be it. Do you have the boar meat? Though this wild boar meat is bland, similar enough in the right spices, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Level 10, baby. What is... What is giddy up? Apprentice riding. Okay. Oh, I'm level 10 now. Here you go. And you give this pie to that Billy. You tell him I hope he chokes on it. Bring the pork Billy pie to Billy Mackler. Okay. We have Polymorph. Um, do I? What's this? Ooh. You're saving for the Charizard dance party? Oh my god. Um. Can I use this? Oh. 
I can. That's actually sick. But um, it doesn't make sense with my current outfit. <laughs> so let's see. Um, brown horse, chestnut mare. Ooh, I like that. Cindermane charger. Mm. What do I want to ride on? I have so many different options. Mountain horse is sick. Um, hmm. I think we're going to go with Should we just keep it classic and go with the chestnut air mare? Garn. Do Garn. Um, and now we can add more action bars. You know what I'll do? I'm going to put my chestnut mare here, and then I can just use both, depending on which one I want. Oh, you stupid kobold. You stupid dumb idiot. Oh, I got a healing potion, though. I'll take it. Okay. Let's tap back on Garn. And I have 60% move speed with him. That's dope. I passed a thing. Yes, thank you. Alright, what up, Billy? <laughs> I was playing near the Forgotty Mine, and I think I dropped, or I mean, I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how it got there, it wasn't me. Well, anyway, I saw this big gold toothed kobold pick up the necklace and run back into his den above the mine. Go find the kobold and you'll find the necklace, I swear. All right. I think Goldtooth is it, right? I think that's his name. Yep, there he is. Were you here in a previous stream when I did the Charizard dance party? Yeah. All right, we got the necklace. And we've killed Goldtooth. So, now we can go back and deliver it. Mm. Don't fall all the way down, please. Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign sniff. See you around. 1,400 experience. That's huge. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back over to the road.
Sick. Oh, wait. I can't do the Charizard dance party. I just realized this is my new computer. And I don't have it installed. I don't have that video file saved yet. So if you if you have enough points soon, don't redeem it until like next stream. I guess maybe I could just pull it up on YouTube, although I don't remember the name of that video. Wow. I'll have to find it on my old computer. Hello. Have a good All right, I'm going to use the bathroom. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm nowhere close to enough. I need to, you to go live more. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Should we go up and do that? Yeah, let's go. Let's go up there. What's what does Supervisor Raylan need? I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood they've already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rainer about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you can collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. Okay. And let's see. <coughs> let's see. What up, Sarah? The thugs in Elwyn wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me linen scraps, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. You'll find those lawless criminals in pockets across Elwyn Safe Forest. Travels. True. Okay. Mm. Let's go this way. This is part of a quest. I don't even remember who gave me this quest. I got it so long ago. Another prowler. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Don't. I damn you the video. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you. I appreciate you lurking as well. Um, okay. How did you find the video you typed in like Charizard and Dragonite dancing? <laughs> Should 
Charizard Dance Beam, yeah. Time to kill this prowler. Another prowler. Okay. I guess I didn't really need my mount for this, but whatever. Oh man, all the prowlers are over here. This is great. This is great. Um, yeah. Get another one. We need. Oh, this is our last one. Last Prowler. Boom. All right. That's good. Um. Okay. Let's go up here. And we will do. The Murloc fins, if we can. Ugh, I'm gonna pull this bear. I don't want that. Surely he's not, yeah, okay, I figured. All right, Murloc lurker, come here. And don't pull 90 of your friends, please. Let's activate Fire Rage. Alright. Blazing Barrier. And Fireball. 50 fire damage. Okay. Um. Um. Let's do that. Is this instant? 2.3 second cast. So it's slightly more than Frostbolt. Slightly longer, I should say. But Frostbolt gives me the slowdown. So I think I should hit him with Frostbolt first. Ooh, that's big damage, bro. Big damage. How dare you drink a potion in front of me? Piece of poop. Okay, I looted him as well. It's not cool when you guys pull your friends with you. This dude, nope. Evade? Hello? Am I on drugs? What? 
What is happening? Is this a joke? Well, <laughs> I guess I can't kill that guy. And we've got three fins. lagging there's no way right there's no way that I keep you watch anime it says anime English uh no I I mean I've watched some anime but that is probably just wrong it's probably from an old stream or something come the drop rate for these torn fins is so bad uh, most recently I've been watching hunter hunter although I haven't watched it in a couple weeks um, but growing up I watched Dragon Ball Z obviously and Dragon Ball and Naruto and I watched some of Shibuden and I watched Death Note and what other animes have I watched I watched the first season of Attack on Titan Back when it came out, there's a torn fin. Um, so I need to watch the rest of Attack on Titan. And yeah. Mm, oh, please give me a torn fin, brother in Christ. haven't watched One Piece. I watched like 20 episodes of One Piece or 30 episodes of One Piece and I was just like, I don't think I can do this. It's not bad. It's just there's so much. It's so daunting. It's just so daunting. All right. One thousand forty-eight. Oh my god. So you're what a third of the way done? <laughs> Kidding. Feels that way, yeah. It's annoying when they hit me with Frostbolt. big damage right there you know what I know what everyone knows it Wow if I didn't mess this up if I didn't mess that up I would have killed her before the cast okay where's this little herb yeah Let's go. That was easy, bro. Okay. We still need more of those Murloc fins, though. Yeah, 
Okay. What is the drop rate on these torn fins, man? Two more. He was trying to drink his potion. He thought. He really thought. Neither of them gave it to me, bro. This one's going to do it for sure. Thank you. Alright, and boom. There we go. Still not dropping them. Still not drop them. Surely this one will drop a torn fin. Finally, we've done it. We got all the fins. Okay. Not today, Satan. Not today. You gotta go eat? No problem, man. I appreciate you hanging out. Good luck with the Civil War as well. Although much has been stripped from the corpse thrown nearby as a medallion with the words Footman Malachi Stone etched upon it. Upon further searching the area, you find web footprints leading east along the shore of Stone Cairn Lake. In the distance to the east, you can just barely see a Murloc village. Where we just came from, actually. It's kind of annoying. Forgot about that. Let's go there. Zipex, hello. Welcome to the stream. That's an adorable emote. Where's that even from? Oh, that's from your channel. Isn't it? Is it? Or Yeah, that's from your channel. That's cute. All right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's adorable. Um, let's see. Ooh, maybe this guy can just hold aggro. There you go. I got you, brother. You find around the neck of a corpse a metal medallion inscribed with the words Footman Rolf Haltford. Now that you have both medallions, deliver them to guard Thomas at the bridge so we might know the fate of the murdered guards. Got you. Okay, let's head on back and avoid pulling the mobs. I failed. Twice. 
what I would give to just be in Eastvale logging camp right now in real life. You need something? That deadline isn't getting any further away, mage. Please hurry and collect these bottles of wood. Excellent, thank you. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I would like to offer some coins to compensate for your troubles. Thank you and farewell. Thanks for your coin. How's WoW? WoW's going good. It's, uh, I just decided to randomly play today just to chill. Um, I'm running on linen Omniarch. Do I have any for me? Yes, I do. Ah, these are nice scraps, if a little rough. Here you are. Thank you. Level 11, boys. Um, okay. Does that give us anything in the spell book? Okay. Mm. When do I unlock talent? Oh. Okay. So. We already got Blazing Barrier. Um. Your spell crit strike damage is increased by 10% when you're. Let's see. When your direct damage spells fail to critically strike a target, your spell critical strike chance is increased by 2% up to 10%. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Hurls an immense fiery boulder that causes 75 fire damage. Okay. I feel bad for never getting into it, but I just couldn't still waiting on some good mmos yeah i um i've actually never really played the end game of wow i've just enjoyed the leveling experiences honestly it's very chill um i've also enjoyed leveling in new world a bit uh, as a matter of fact i know a lot of people kind of meme on new world but they've done they've improved it so much that i actually really enjoyed playing uh the great sword class i think it's called great sword yeah um so definitely recommend trying that out there was an immense fiery boulder four second cast let's do this new world for pvp but the company quinn oh yeah i'm a pve guy hello citizen You have confirmed my fears, Omniarch. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor and will undertake it to Sarah Timberland at the Eastvale Logging Camp. Give her the marker and she will fashion the armor for you. After you receive it, Omniarch, use in the defensive element. Eastvale is just east of this. Yes, I've been there. Thanks a lot for the help, Omniarch. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. You have the fins? Great. Marshal Dugan is anxious about the Murloc situation in the Eastvale logging. In East Elwyn, and I'd like to tell him that it's becoming under control. Your actions have helped me realize that. Alright, this is great. Oh man, our bag is full full. Um, okay. So, let's see here. Does this do anything? No, we just look cute with it. <laughs> okay, um, farmer's boots. Oh, the wolf fur boots actually give us some stats, so we'll do that. Uncle Stonefield's pants. I don't know if I want to wear someone else's pants, but okay. It was either bow hatchet or bow spear. Oh, yeah. I heard bow spear was, was really uh, popular. So let's put on the red linen sash for bonus stats. And we can pretty much just sell the rest of this stuff when we go over to East Valley, I think. All right, we're up to 44 intellect, boys. 44. Let's uh, go back over to Eastvale. Wow, we basically just cleared out an, our entire quest log right there. Man, I know we still have quests over for like Westfall and uh, Westbrook Garrison, but that's on the other side of Elwyn Forest. Hello, Sarah. I've been commissioned by the Stormwind Army to supply their people with cloth and leather army. If you have a marker for me, then I'd be happy to make you something. 
Ah, uh, thank you for the market feels free to pick up your choice of armor. Lucky to you, brave mage. Luck to you, brave mage, and may this armor serve you well. Is that actually good? It is literally better than what I've got. But it looks identical? Huh. Oh, well, well, whatever. Um, can I sell this guy's stuff? Hey there. I, I can. Oh, I guess I can. Okay. Um, surely there's got to be someone here that I can sell my junk to. Well, uh, I guess we do have to go that way. This guy, surely. What up, JP? What can I do for you? All right, I'm gonna sell all my junk. And we don't need that. And we don't need that, that, that. This is trash, 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 trash. Um, the ice cold milk is way better. Can I not sell this? Am I lagging? Hello? Right, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. I think I'm lagging. I can't click this guy. See you around. How are you? Okay, we're back. Um, boom, boom. Uh, we'll sell the apple that I got from that trade. <laughs> and I don't really know like what these earlier, like what these earlier reagents are. Not that good. Hmm. I'll just sell it. I mean, what could it really go for on the auction house, right? All right. See you later. I've been watching the war from 1960, and it's so insane to see their open field. Yeah, dude. It's. Uh, I actually haven't really watched any of it, but I've seen their open field. It's. It's insane. Like you can't even see anything. Ashley's there as well. Cute. Are you guys still at the hotel? We're eating Domino's and watching your video about Reddit. That's how my videos should be watched while eating Domino's, 1,000%. Um, okay, let's go find and kill the collector. And then I actually wonder how many quests are down here. Are you back home? I wonder how many questicles. That hotel sucked. I mean, when I stayed there, it was 160 bucks, so I think that was a good deal. Uh... Some micro celebrity. <laughs> like, it's so crazy can't to my own KVK. Not actually comparable as we're currently KV1. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. KVK1 is, like, nothing compared to Season of Conquest. Especially in Imperiums and Acids. Grab this little herb. 200 experience for picking that flower. Okay. Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. But still the way they move together is so sick. We have 1v3 though. Oh, that that is kind of cool, yeah. Those are always exciting. Especially if you actually have a chance. Really? Can I use that? You can, that's cute. Alright. Um, let's go kill the collector. Oh, JP, my new computer has none of those sounds set up. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm sorry. You just got scammed. We won already, all the others gave up. Let's go. Um, 
Okay. Oh, I just pulled everyone. Yeah, that probably wasn't it. That probably. Let's 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 go ahead and let's go and do that real quick. I'm at 45. Yeah. What happened when I was gone? Um, we completed a bunch of quests and I almost just died, but we're good now. Um, do I have anything that regenerates health? No. Let's conjure some refreshments. I need to speak to a manager. Don't worry, the manager will hover over my over my head. Then you can leave a bad MPS comment. Conjured mana brownie. I feel like a mana brownie sounds fucking amazing. A magical brownie. See, my fat ass thinks regular brownies are magical, bro. So imagine an actual magical one. Can I actually get a kill here? Oh, that would be cool if I could actually do it. Oh, look at me now. I'm the wiener. That was a close one though, to be real. That one was super close. Let me not go in there in case they fucking respawn. <laughs> um, okay. Snoot the rooster? When does that spawn? Let's see here. One kingdom killed themselves due to civil wars before KVK. One was scared to fight except for a few peeps who were fun, and only one kingdom was actually fighting us a good amount. That's always how it is, you know? KVK ones are always like that. They're always wild cards because I feel like there's often civil wars that happen either right before or during KVK one. And then there's usually like one kingdom that has like a couple of whales and a jumper project and stuff. So yeah, it happens. But I'm glad you got some good fights in. One guy has like 2.5 billion ki Oh my god, that's a mega whale in KVK1. Um. Oh. Like what? Hello, Marshall. Did you find the collector to discover whom he's working for? You found him well done, Omniarch. He won't be collecting from the Almond Mines again, and this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old Stonemasons Guild in Stormwind. I haven't seen one of these in years, since back in the days when the Defias Brotherhood used to invest infest this land. That's a big level up. Level oh no, that, that dude leveled up, but I got an a uh, really good bag here. We've got even more room for accessories. Um, okay. We are done with quests over here, I think. I'm gonna go down in that bottom right corner just to unlock the map. <clears throat> My kingdom is gonna die before it happens. Yeah, see, that's what I, that's what I mean. Like those uh, KVK1 Civil Wars. Ain't never helped nobody. It's always a bad play to have a civil war before KVK1. He was actually taking the whole of 39 in his backpack and trying to fight us. That's sick. He was giga chatting. Is there anything up in this tower? Ridge Point Tower. This, actually, I'm pretty sure this tower is part of a quest in Red Ridge Mountains, if I'm not mistaken. But that's going to be in a little bit. Um, do I die from this distance? Let's find out. Not bad. Um, okay. So. I think, um. I think we're just going to go to i'm gonna you know what i think i'm gonna unlock the flight path in red ridge and then uh, we'll take that back to i guess goldshire because we've got to do the westbrook garrison quest and then the 
Westfall quest. And this one requires going to Lakmadon, which I'm not doing, so. All right. Not gonna lie, we had the most random people getting together, killed a whole jumper project, and now we're here. That's actually sick. That's so cool when that works out. Um. Oh, actually, am I going to be able to get over there without dying? I think the whole world... Null Fester. Null Fester. What? Where the hell is Null? Null Fester. What level is Null Fester? 11. Can I one? Can I kill this this dude? Let's see. Thank you for tanking tanking all the damage. It's lit. Red Ridge Tarantula Egg. I've collected the Red Ridge Tarantula. I already had that. Okay, well. Did I even get any experience for killing him? I, don't, I wasn't even paying attention. When I was in, is in 1960 though, so she knows a ton about the game, so it's so nice and informative. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that's always good to have. Yeah, if you, um, even if you go up against whales, if they don't really know what they're doing, they're not really going to be able to, uh, do much against you. Because they won't really know how to, like, build flags and stuff like that. They won't know, like, the build times and all the important stuff for actually map awareness and maneuver. Alright, going to Goldshire. You have the whales too? Yeah, that, that's good. A little bit of both. Let's see. Oh, God. I mean, whales more dolphins around 6 7 are T5 right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, even still, T5 for KBK1 is pretty good. T5 sounds so expensive. T4 costs so much. I'm in bankruptcy. Yeah. Yeah, I would say uh, just I wouldn't rush it. I would just try to enjoy the early game because if you get hung up on getting T5, it, you're going to spend a lot and it's you're going to realize that it actually doesn't like change your life. Like when you unlock T5, like it feels really good, but it doesn't change your life. You still need commanders and stuff, you know. Spent three billion when sixth pass open three billion what like resources waterlogged chest showed up to heal yeah that's crazy actual giga chad is that the waterlog there it is let's go open that chest let's see what's in the chest over there I wonder how much I spent last KBK. Definitely a few billion. Mirror Lake Orchard. Waterlogged chest. What did I get? Red Defias mask. Stormwind Bree. 
I did defy a short sword. Literally nothing. I got booty. Can't even wear it. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, we can at least sell that stuff for for some raw gold. I want to know how much the whale from thirty nine spent. Yeah, I. It's probably fifty grand or more. Nah, bro. He had three pilots. Damn, you know he's paying them too. <clears throat> his Richard Martia. In KVK1, it's so funny how scary Richard actually is. Like, Richard Martell is actually terrifying. And then you quickly realize that it falls off. Richard YSG, yeah. Alright. This should be probably the last few quests here in Elmen Forest. Marshal Dugan sent you, eh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. Knoll's brutish creatures with no descent, no decent business in these lands have seen have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind army will commend whoever helps them, whoever helps kill them. Bring me their painted Knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Light bless you. Light bless you. Is there... Oh, I can sell stuff in here, I think. I think I can sell something here, yeah. Right. Um, repair all my items, please. Sell all my junk. And then... We can sell that. That. Um, Stormwind Free. Lion's Pride Bracers. Um, the Defy Short Sword for sure. And that's probably it, right? Wait, does this... Oh, that heals my mana too. Okay, so we don't even need that. Okay. Um, and there's no quests in here. Okay, there's not. Well, he was running around with Richard YSG, Martel something, and Mina Tao Tao. Oof. Yeah. If he's three marching it with all legendaries in KVK1, he's rich. Wanted, Hogger. A huge Knoll Hogger is prowling the woods in southwestern Elwyn. He has overpowered all attempts at his capture. The Stormwind army has placed a generous bounty on the knoll. To earn the reward, bounty hunters should venture into the woods and deal with the beast. Deal with the hogger situation and return to Marshall Dugan. You got it. There's a guy I know who has 100 million power before K became one and started and has started. He is the king of Kingdom 3381. Yeah, those people are actually insane. Um, okay, let's deal with the null problem here. Killed this whole kingdom to gain power. Oh. Is that is that the story? It's usually never a great strategy to sacrifice your entire kingdom just for yourself. Because then nobody likes you. Um, okay. Well, first of all, let's find Hogger because he actually might. Uh, is that him? Gruff Swift Bite. I don't even. I'm not, I've never even seen this dude before. That's 
Let's go. I can't use that. Shoot. Okay. Um. Oh, there's Hogger. Wait, did they change this? Oh, did someone just kill Hogger? Is that what happened? <laughs> this is an oldie to an expansive farmland within Westfall. It's signed by a Theodore Furlbrow and co-signed by his wife, Verna. And on the back of the deed are hastily scrawled words. We leaned on Furlbro and got his deed. Thought it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these for your own place. The Furlbrows won't give us trouble. Last I saw them, we were on the way out of Westfall. Stuck. Uh, stuck with a broken wagon. I think they might want their deed back. I know where they're located. That's good to know. Um. So in classic WoW, Hogger spawns randomly around this area. But I'm getting the impression that in retail, he always spawns here. Is that true? Hogger Hill? Like that probably gives it away, doesn't it? Yep, I was right. Alright, well, now let's wait for my cooldowns. Pop that again. What's this? Increases spell damage by 8%. Okay, um, let's do this. That's not good. I got him. Thank is the king there. There are a few people in my kingdom. Oof. Whales be doing that. General Hammond Clay, High Commander of Storm and Defense. Reading. Dang, Hogger looks good. They redid his model, bro. King Varian Rin. Take us to the stockades, Andromoth. Light be with you. Gang. All right. So that was the hard part. Um, now the easy part is just killing the rest of these guys. In theory. Two painted armbands. All right, let's get that. Okay, let's grab this. We need three more, and there's plenty of these dudes spawning around here. I'd rather not fight that bear though. That's like so annoying that he's right there. Ugh. Piece of sheesh. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. that and one more there we go dude it's been forever it's jj brother i remember your username i know who schlub glove is uh good to see you doing well and playing some retail well yes sir brother how you been dude i I thought about you the other day. What was it? 
Oh, mm, I don't remember what it was. Um, maybe it was like, I saw like a rumor for the next Let's Go Pokemon games or something like that. It, maybe that was it. I can't remember exactly. But I thought of you the other day and I was like, I wonder how JJ's doing. That's so funny that you just popped in here. I hope you're doing well, dude. I uh, I don't typically play retail WoW. I just wanted to kind of like hop on stream today and freaking chill out. This is such a good chill game. It's hard to see. He could have saved around 5k if he didn't. Oh my god, bro. Literal whales. Just doing whale things. What can I do for you? Have you been killing gnolls? That's all I've been doing. I see you've been busy. You have our thanks, Omniarch. There it is. Um we've got some things to like get rid of here. We can sell some shit. Uh, Good day to you. Let's sell all this stuff. Is this an upgrade? It is. Have a good uh, do that. How Boom. Boom. Uh, he still doesn't want that, huh? See you later. I. It is what it is. Um. Okay. I guess we've got literally nothing else to do but to go to Westfall. We have completed all of Elwyn Forest, and it only took us two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Whales make my mind hurt because how much they spent. Yeah, I'm like, can I just have like $5? <laughs> like $5 would be great. You're over here spending 50 grand on KBK1. Lieutenant Horatio Lane. Oh, not the horse. <gasps> not the horse. Um, Greetings. I found your deed, brother. Uh, well met. Life bless you. We don't need any civilian vigilante types getting involved, kid. Leave this one to the professionals. This is useless. Look at the data on this letter. The Furl Bros have been squatting on the Jansen stead for five years. They never could quite, uh, they never could quite get their wagon fixed. Go with honor, friend. Murder, rookie. That's what you're looking at on the ground in front of us. Be careful. I'm doing well and yeah, totally. I've dabbled in retail a bit. Got super into classic during TBC and raided consistently until a couple months ago and needed a break. Just started leveling in season of discovery. A new let's go. Yeah, I'd love to see Jodar. I really would. Did you play Scarlet Violet at all? I took this gen off for the time being. Yeah, so first of all, the fact that you play WoW and we haven't played together is so sad because I feel like I don't know anyone who plays and that's such a huge bummer. And second of all, uh, yeah, it was just a rumor or like, I guess a leak, but um, I didn't love the original Let's Go games except for the fact that the world looked freaking beautiful and I would love to just run around Johto. Like even if the gameplay sucks, I just want to run around in like an HD Johto. Um, I tried Scarlet and Violet so hard. I wanted them to be so good, but they were fucking garbage. <laughs> and that is the first Pokemon game that I've never completed because it's just fucking trash. Here's the deal, kid. We got a full-blown murder on our hands. Double homicide, single horse aside. <laughs> Worst yet, we're in Westfall. I could throw a rock behind me and hit a dozen hobos with motive enough to want to wipe these people and horse out. I don't know who did this, and I sure don't appreciate having to come to this dump to investigate the deaths of a couple of squatters. Uh, but I'll be damned if I don't find the perp. You want to help? Go talk to some bums. The hobo, who knows? This guy just hates poor people. <laughs> Um, okay. Wait, where do I turn in the hogger quest? Did I? What? Oh, I have to go back to Goldshire, bro. What? Is there a flight? There's a flight path here, right? Where's the, where? yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go to the flight path. Um, Let's talk to some hobos. 
Listen, pal, I don't want trouble, okay? I didn't see who murdered him, but I sure heard it. A lot of yelling human voices, you dig? Now get out of here before I change my mind about beating you up and taking your shoes. She actually doesn't have shoes. That's so funny. Um, That's actually not funny. That's tragic. Um, What the fuck? He just starts beating me up? No wonder the other guy hates poor people. I'm poor and I'm nice. Um, why don't I just, can I just pay him off? Here's two copper. I didn't see who killed him, bub, but I got a whiff. Smelled rich, kind of like you. Damn shame, too. Pearl bros were a fixture around here. Nice people always willing to share a meal at Patch of Dirt. That's too bad. Who killed the Pearl bros? I'll tell you who killed the Pearl bros. King Barry and Rin, that's who. And he's killing the rest of us, too. One bum at a time. The only thing I can tell you is that I saw some gnolls leaving the place a few hours before the law arrived. All right. Between you and me and the three Murloc killed the bros. Pearl bros. Yep, saw him with my own two eyes. I think they'd been chasing the joint for days. Or casing the joint for days. Maybe months. They left in a hurry once they got wind. Okay. So I literally got three different answers. One said humans, one said Murlocs, one said something else. Knowles and Murlocs, horse poopy pal. Knowles and Murlocs didn't kill these people. I've seen what Knowles and Murlocs do to people they kill, and this isn't it too pretty, too perfect. Furthermore, the Furl Bros have been squatting on this farm for five years. No, whoever wiped them out had a reason. This is murder, plain and simple, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Life bless you. Um, okay. Seeing as that we have no other leads, we may as well chase down the information you got. There's a couple of River Paul Knoll camps in the area. Stop fucking walking away. <laughs> Uh, track them down and search for clues. Bring back anything that you might find. Isolate your search to the Riverfront Knolls and Scouts. As pointless as I think this is going to be, we need to investigate all of our leads. I think you need... I need you to head out to Longshore, west of here, on the coast, and shake up some murlocs. Try to find a clue or some info that can shed some light on the murders. Ooh. Currently VIP 12. Nice, dude. 60's fielding again. I'm chilling at 4 a.m. Oh, I thought you said 4, 4 a.m. 4 million power. Okay. Um, all right. Let's just beeline it to that flight path. And then um, we can go to whoop, turn in that hogger quest. We'll turn in the questicle. There it is. I remember when I played Classic Wrath and I didn't realize that there's just so few flight paths around here. Like Classic Wrath, I think there's like, there's Eastvale Logging Camp has a flight path, I think, and Stormwind. And I think like that's it. Um, and then I think there's a, uh, I think like one of these, Sentinel Hill, I think. One of these is a flight path, I think, but yeah. All right, let's go back to Goldshire. Omni, would you advise getting Salad into 5511 for KVK2 and getting in 5551 for Sock slowly? Um, if you're like a low or medium spender and you kind of have a couple of extra sculptures lying around, you could consider it. But at the end of the day, you're probably if you're gonna use them in Season of Conquest, you'll probably only use them for like your first one, maybe your second one. Um, I totally be down to play sometime I'm on Grobulus, Horde Side, and Wrath, Living Flame, Horde, and Season of Discovery, and in retail I could just roll a new tune whenever. Speaking of flight paths, Sada's Walking Simulator, dude, I remember, uh, yeah, when I played Wrath Classic, I was just like, frick, dude, I'm walking everywhere. Um, JJ, if you have the same number, you can text me, man, or, uh, add me on Discord or something. What? Why does it make you fly around Stormwind? That's so funny. That's like ancient tech at work right there. Um, I've never played Season of Discovery. And what 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 server am I on Wrath? I bear I didn't even get that far in Wrath. I literally like am I was last time I played in Wrath, I was leveling through uh the what's it called? 
uh duskwood so i was like level 26 or 27 or something like that and then i got bored of walking around and also i just don't like duskwood as a questing zone to begin with well met. he did what great now we have a bloodthirsty beast right beneath the streets of stormwind with a whole army of gnolls at his command definitely an improvement i feel safer already <laughs> Here's your reward, Omniarch, but promise me you'll check in with the stockade guards in Tormund at some point just to ensure things are going smoothly. For the Alliance. Um, okay. Let's see, what does this look like? Sick. Point 0.1 DPS. Poggers. Okay. Um, let's go in here here oh wait i could have just hearth backed here i'm stupid good day to you okay let's sell this bop, bop. i can sell what the hell why does nobody want that refreshing spring water um See you around. Can i learn this can't use that item though uh, that's the thing. What's a medium spender? Because I might have the heads, but also I want 1300 Nevsky Joan instantly. Yeah. Um, medium spender. I would say, like, if you spend, like, 300 a month, maybe, yeah. Like, maybe max purchase one bundle a month, maybe more. Or get really lucky with Joan and hit the 5015. Am I correct? Yeah. Or if you get super lucky, you could hit the 5115, and that's lit. And then you can just decide if you want the second skill or not. Um. Hmm. If you have spirit races, I'd be happy to take some. No, dude. We're going to go into KVK soon, and I am broke. I'm a broke boy. What can I do for you? Look at that. They want me to go all the way to Lockbodon, Lamau. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else I need here. Yeah, now let's just fly through Stormwind again. Stupid bitch. I'm gonna reply to some text messages. You guys can't see this computer, right? Close enough to medium spender, yeah. Yeah, then if you wanted to do silent and you could, but again, you really aren't gonna get much use out of him in sock, to be honest. Let me finish uh, this text. Sorry, guys. Oh, I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting attacked. It's just this other dude. Uh, do you think it's smart for me to get all the T4 researchers and then push my city hall level? Um, you at least want to get the main three. Like, you want to get probably cavalry, infantry, archers, yeah. Um...
lots of people are cav mains that's a really good strategy i was actually going to make a video uh soon talking about kind of like what the best um what the best troop type is for free to play players right now because i did recently make kind of like that series talking about each troop type and so i feel like it might be smart to make just a video dedicated to that because i'm sure people have questions but uh yeah we'll see bop and you're dead give me the kill -oo. oh man i would have loved to just get why is my screen flickering i would have loved to just get the clue on the first the first pull Um, mm -hmm. Archers for free to play. Ah, yeah, I mean, if you got, uh, nah, probably not. I don't know about that. You run laps, yeah, that's the best part. There it is, dude. Uh, oh, don't pull him, don't pull him. Ooh, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Beefed up Richard, yeah, true. Giga Chad Richard. The only time Richard's a Giga Chad. All right. Do we've got any rare spawns over here? Ooh, Richard, you so tanky. Ah. Up. Really, brother? Slark? Your name is Slark? Got him. Gotcha, B. There it is, the level up. Level 13, ladies and gentlemen. Level 13. Hot as heck. I mean, it's that mustache, man. Like, what are you gonna do, not love the mustache? Bop. Popping off. Oh, is that a questicle? If ye be reading this, it means that old Captain Sanders is in a watery grave. So my treasure is yours now. You just need to follow the clues. First, you need to find me Footlocker. It's probably half buried in a sand by now, along the western coast of Westfall, near the shipwreck. There be lots of shipwrecks, but only one rusty anchor on the coast. Find that anchor and you'll find me Locker. Look in there for the next clue. Colonel Sanders Locker. Bitch. Okay. Mm Five, two, one, one, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, five five one one Minamoto. If you get the right bundles, I think it's twenty seven dollars or something like that. At least USD. Oh, shit, I didn't get that tag. Um, and I think that's actually a pretty good deal now that it, now that we have the relic in Season of Conquest. Pretty good. Not super important, but it's decent. Get your booty over here. Up. All right. Um, 
Donde. They're all gone. It's actually kind of nice seeing people quest over here. Like, we pretty much went through most of Elwyn Forest without seeing any... Play well, we saw, like, maybe two or three players in, like, three hours. But we've actually seen a couple of players here. This is good. <clears throat> Hit, crit hits on gear is non-existent. Yep. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Yo, dog. Where are these freaking murlocs at? Guys, what should I eat for dinner? What should I eat? Gotcha, bitch. Please give me the clue. Oh, shit. Really? There we go. Um, all right. They're both ready for turning. Actually, uh, maybe I, maybe I should use my, I've been being a little bit of a purist today, but maybe I should use my heirloom weapon at least. Just to speed up the DPS. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh yeah, that's big DPS right there. Um. Okay, let's go back here. It's just so crazy to think about, like... In Classic, you just wouldn't have a mount right now. Like, you would just get to do all of this on foot. Which makes Westfall so much worse. It's, like, such an empty, boring-looking zone as well. Like, at least Elwyn Forest is, like, a fucking beautiful, magical forest. So when you're walking through it, at least it's, like, kind of pretty. But this is just a yellow field, bruh. And a bunch of homeless people. Max a whole leg event to get both boots and chest. Ooh, nice. Greetings. Be careful. Light flesh. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Because I'm not laughing. Bits and pieces of red cloth. What the hell is this supposed to mean? The alliance. The nice find, rookie. I think I have a sack of those on my desk back at the station. We're basically back to square one. What do we know? Someone that likes to write fiction about the past sent the Furl Bros a letter. Looks like we got ourselves a real history mystery. The alliance. This guy's a dick. Looks like we got ourselves a real whodunit here, rookie. Unfortunately, it looks like the lo locals aren't willing to talk, and the clues you got off the knolls and murlocs are damn near worthless. We're going to have to initiate plan B on the lookout for Two Shoed Lou. Two Shoed Lou is an old confidential informant of mine who, in on it, who ironically, makes his home at the Furl Bros' old pumpkin farm. Head west of the farm and find out what Lou knows. If he gives you any guff, tell him that Horatio sent you. Best thing to do, follow the Omni Guides. Let's go. Um, yeah, because equipment can get expensive too if you craft the wrong stuff. I can't believe it's 7.45 p.m. I've been like at my computer all day. Who am I kidding? Of course I can believe that. Two shoot Lou. Look, we ain't got no room for no more Horatio send you right then. Um, how can I help you? He's not here, is he? <laughs> he knows I wasn't hiding from him, right? Was just trying to lay low and all that, you know? Listen, I really shouldn't be talking to you, but I owe Horatio a favor or two. I don't really know nothing about what happened to the Furl Bros, but I might be able to point you in the right direction. 
who hands you a large crate. That crate used to be my home before I struck it rich. Now I'm living the life every hobo dreams of. Right. So you take that there living crate and head to the Jangalode mine. Southwest of here. Head to the back of the mine and once there, hide in the crate. I'm going back to the Jangalode mine, bro. Jim Candles McHannigan. Back before those damn kobolds gave me a permanent limp, I used to be William Pestle's number one candle supplier. Hell, I even came up with the line, I take candle. Yeah, that was me. Kobold would say, you know take candle, and I'd just respond, I take candle, and then bash their brains in. <laughs> limb drifts off for a second. Good times. The best times. Now, can't even use the bathroom without assistance. You want me to, you want to help me? Kill some kobolds. You'll find a good load of them in the nearby mine. You're 2k away from Charizard dance party? Holy shit. That's when it gets really real. Uh... Wait. The jangle Oh, that's a different mine. Sorry. I was thinking about the mines from Hell and Forest. Here's the Jangalode mine. Um, all right, how the fuck do I get in here? Oh, it's on the other side, I'm so stupid. Uh, brother. Twenty-seven out of fifteen hundred gold heads. I don't know how many days till Nevsky. Oh no. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I probably wouldn't go for salad and then brother. If I'm being honest with you. YouTube guns cod. What up? Welcome to the stream. Um. All right. Into the into the mines we go. The children they yearn for the mines. Gotcha, bitch. The YSG expertise wasn't my best idea. I mean, if you're super active, it's fine. And also, you'll probably get use for him in Season of Conquest. Got you a ton of KP. Yeah. See, that's the thing that I think a lot of people forget when they talk about, like, early game investments. It's like, technically, is YSG the best anymore? No, he's not the best anymore. But, like... It's still a game, and you have to have fun, right? Like, if you're not gonna have fun, then what's the point of the game anyway? So, if you got YSG and you had fun with it, and you had K you got the KP, you're fine, and you definitely can use him a little bit in Season of Conquest for sure. Bop. All right. So we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna come back. Let's let's go in this little corner here. Is this good? Oh yeah, we're so we're so blending in right now. Glub talk. Who's that shadowy figure? What little Hume want? Why you call Glub talk? Sad. Is this the life that you had hoped for, Glub talk? Running two bit extortion operations out of a cave? Glove talk crush you. Oh, will you? Do you dare cross that line and risk your life? You may attempt to kill me and fail, or you may take option two. What option two? 
You join me and I shower wealth and power upon you. I'll take that option, please. Why do I hear a horse? So Globe Talk have two choices, die or be rich and powerful. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Globe Talk take choice two. I thought you'd see it my way. The Foreman. I will call for you when the dawning is upon us. <sighs> drama. Ooh, spicy drama. Let's kill some more kobold dig boys. Bop. Bop. You dead. You dead, bruh. You dead. Right. Tell me you killed all the kobolds over here, you stupid mother fricker. Um, whoop. Ah, oh, damn it. Give me that. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Spitted for skill and ran into their ball. Got me 2.1 million to 200K maybe. Oh my God, yeah. Especially in the early KVKs when people just have no idea what they're doing. So they just like, Take your skill shots. <laughs> Ran in a few times though, but so little people attacked me. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Cobalt Digger. Come here. And up. Two moss. Oh, you literally gonna spawn there, huh? Gotcha. You're gonna spawn there again? Hello? Guess that makes killing them easier. Alright. Well done. Well done, Chestnut Mare. Oh, sweet justice. Killing those kobolds won't make me walk like a normal person and it sure won't get me a job, but damn, does it feel good. Jim reaches into a crusty old sack. Here, I think I got something for you for my kobold hunting days. Maybe you can put it to good use. Lou puts his hands on his ears and starts talking loudly. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know what and I don't care. That kind of information is liable to get you killed by these parts. I got one more bit of information for you, then we're done. A couple of thugs recently showed up at the farm causing all kinds of trouble. I don't know what, I don't know where they came from or who they're working for, but I know they're bad news. I may have overheard them talking about subjects that might interest you. If you're interested, you'll find the thugs back behind the farmhouse. If you get caught or killed, I don't know you. I never knew you. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Lou. What a sweetheart. Oh, damn. I forgot the time. It's 2 a.m. I need to sleep. Dude, Zipex, I appreciate you hanging out, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Hopefully, you can get some good rest probably gonna end the stream here in a little bit anyway because i need to get some food i'm hungry and i've been sitting for so long
See you later, man. Let's eaves. How do I eavesdrop on thugs? You'll find thugs back behind the farmhouse if you get caught or killed. So how do I eavesdrop? Do I go? Do I go in the house to eavesdrop on the thugs behind the house? Surely that's it, right? Is this accurate? Am I doing it right? Everyone's sleeping in here. I hear someone walking. I wish I could clip my camera through the wall so I could see if I'm eavesdropping or not. I actually don't remember where I'm supposed to eavesdrop for this quest. You still play Call of Dragons at all? No. I haven't played Call of Dragons in a couple months. Uh, actually, in many months at this point. <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Can I stand out here? Yep, she's for real. I'm going to tell you, Lugs, that she appreciates the job I did for her on the Furl Bros. Gave me a pile of gold to split with you all. See so your face? Is it really... Whoa, what do we have here? It looks like we have ourselves an eavesdropper, boys. Ah, shit. Only one thing to do with a lousy good-for-nothing eavesdropper. Die! Uh-oh. What happened? I thought you were gonna kill me, huh? I thought you was gonna kill me. What happened? Did it work? I eavesdropped on them. Was I supposed to kill them? Um, hello? I guess I was probably supposed to kill him. Well, that's annoying. Oh, they're back. Can I kill you guys yet? I guess I was supposed to kill him. Wow, we got a lot of people questing here. This is great. Hurry back to the cottage. We're dealing with an organization here, Rookie. You don't just off the richest bum in Westfall in broad daylight and leave no witnesses. Someone with a lot of powers behind these murders. What have you learned so far? Oh, it's Tu Shu Lu just got murdered. Go with honor. So what do we know so far? We need to follow the clues. Over at the Jatson Stead, you found a water-soaked letter and some scraps of red cloth. Here at the Furl Bros, you overheard a conversation between some shadowy figure and an ogre mage. You also got a confession to the murder from a bunch of thugs whom you then killed. Something isn't adding up, rookie. There's an old couple southeast of here at the Saldine's farm. Head over there and speak with Farmer Saldine. Find out what he knows. Be 
Um, shit. 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 Um, all right. Let's go grab this leaf. It's lit. Um, all right. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to end the stream now. I'm going to get some food, guys. We've been streaming for almost three and a half hours. Just kind of nuts. So, can I make this in my home? Life in Westfall is hard, Sonny. Every day is a struggle. We can sometimes go weeks without a decent meal. That's why it's important that we all help each other out. Maybe you can lend a hand, eh? I'm making dirt pies and need some ingredients. Get me some fresh dirt from the pumpkin patch out front and a bunch of coyote tails. You'll find coyotes wandering around in the wilds of Westfall. Get moving. Um, all right. I'm going to end the stream here. Um, thank you guys to everyone who's been hanging out. Aiden, good night, brother. I hope you uh, pull some motivation together soon. I know you will. I believe in you. And uh, I appreciate you lurking for a bit. If anyone else is here, YouTube Guns Cod. Thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate that. Everyone else who's lurking. And uh, perhaps later tonight or tomorrow, maybe I'll go live with some more World of Warcraft. Adios. Goodbye.